Well, commiserations, but you said yesterday that it was about learning rather than protecting unbeaten ones. So, so what do you think you've got from tonight? Well, I mean, I'm not certain we could have protected our unbeaten one in if I'd have chosen what I think is our strongest team at the moment. Because, you know, let's be fair, the Chilean team were very good. They, they had the boost of a, a very good 10 minute spell and they took the lead in that spell. I thought we hauled ourselves back into the game towards the end of the first half. And, start the second half, things were looking a lot better, but we were still up against it because they were a good team. Uh, but I'm afraid the last 20, 25 minutes tended to peter out. There were a lot of fouls, a lot of stoppages, a lot of changes, and we couldn't seem to quite get that sort of rhythm that would pull us back into the game. But uh, we did learn a lot tonight, there's no question of that. We learned what a good side Chile are. We, we, we thought they were anyway, but tonight they really proved it. And they also showed, you know what, we're going to be up against in Brazil when we meet South American opposition because, quite frankly, when you when you do lose the ball and they get it back, it's very, very hard to get it from them. That has often been England's problem in major tournaments, hasn't it? Keeping possession. Absolutely. I mean, uh, it's uh, our game in England and the Premier League is a slightly different game, a sort of, a, uh, I won't say a more positive game, but a game where we're, we're always looking to get forward and play the ball forward. Um, but of course I think that we, we are getting better in, in that respect, it's a bit harsh tonight, you can't really expect a goalkeeper making his debut to show the confidence to play the ball out in the same way that Claudio Bravo did, because I've got to say that's probably the best exhibition of passing from a goalkeeper, from a goalkeeper that I've ever seen. What did you make of the other two players that you gave debuts to, Rodriguez and Arnold? Yeah, they did okay. I mean, it was a, a very tough one for Jay, I thought, in particular. Uh, but I thought Milana, you know, actually played well and, and did some very good things. Jay was fine. He worked hard to do the, the right things. And uh, he mustn't, in any way, be disappointed with his performance. And he's obviously a guy we're going to keep watching. But it was a, a tough one for him to come in and, and, and play today, especially when... We were goal to kneel down early on and uh, Chile have got their towers up and play with all the technique and skill and experience that they've got. I mean, this was, you know, arguably what they consider to be their best team. Um, we have got a lot of players that we, we can bring back into the team and I'm just hoping now that we won't beat ourselves up too badly about it, that we will put some perspective on the game and on the defeat. But uh, I can't say I'm happy about it, I can't say I'm satisfied. I can only hope that we learn. What would you take as the positives, though? Well, I think the main positive is, you know, we learn what it's like to play against these teams. We know what it's going to be like if we go a goal down against them, you know. We know how clever they are, you know, protecting that lead and uh, killing the game off. Uh, and most important of all, you know, we we know that we will have to be better at taking our chances because there were quite a few occasions in the game where chances were there. We, we were behind them, we were were testing them, but unfortunately they were much more clinically in their finishing than we were because uh, the first goal really came at a time when you know we looked as though we were going to get back into the game. Great night for Frank Lampard too. Yeah. Just going out with him and obviously the presentation of the cap. He's, he's been a fine servant for him over the years. Absolutely. No, I was really pleased for him. It's uh, another another legend, another hundred cap man that uh, I've been fortunate enough to, to see get his hundred cap. So I'm delighted for him. I thought it was great the reception he got, and he'll he'll remember that occasion with his hundredth cap. Even though, of course, I'm sure he's a right to captain the team to a victory rather than a defeat. No rest fight though. Small matter of Germany to come, but again, the chance to learn and, and get something out of it, whatever the result. Yeah, I mean, the games that we had uh, the last the last four games, in particular the last two here at Wembley, were vitally important. And you know, tonight we we've seen the other side of football. You know, a month ago we were dancing around and congratulating ourselves and basking, if you like, in the glory of having achieved our goal tonight. We've had to accept that we've left Wembley with a defeat, something which doesn't happen very often and something that none of us are happy to, to do. But that's what football is and the important thing sometimes is when you're knocked down, how you manage to pick yourself up again and get going. And I think all of those players in the dressing room are sitting you know, really very sad that they couldn't win this game. They've learned a lot tonight and uh, they'll have to make certain that they learn how to pick themselves up and go again. And one last thought, Ukraine's victory against France tonight, just a, a reminder that that group wasn't as easy as perhaps some people were trying to take it to be. No, it wasn't. It was never going to be. It's 
qualifying for World Cup's tough. And, uh, we did it, you know, we did it without losing the game. In fact, we've had a good run. You know, my my run with the team's been, been fortunate. We haven't lost uh, only the one game, and that was over a year ago. But it reminds me as well that football isn't just winning. It's not all about the, the pats on the back and the glory. Sometimes you have to uh, face up to the fact that your team was second best, that the opponents actually played very well, and that uh, all you can do then is to try and learn any lessons from, from a defeat and to make certain that you don't carry the disappointment with you into the next game when you start to go again.